Hello and welcome to part 4 of my advanced sharpening series here at freephotoshop.com. In this tutorial we'll be looking at another fairly popular method of sharpening an image and that's using the high pass filter. Now one of the advantages of using this technique is that as long as you've saved the file as a layered composition, so in the native PSD format for example, then we're always going to have the option of switching off the sharpening we've applied. OK, so let's get started. I'm going to open up this document called Monkey, which is in fact a real monkey posing on a hotel balcony in Mombasa last year. And then I'm going to go over to the Layers palette and duplicate the layer by right-clicking on the layer and selecting Duplicate. I'm going to name the new layer Sharpen and hit OK. Now with the Sharpen layer selected, I'm going to go up to the Filters menu and select Other. And from there I'm going to select the High Pass filter. Now this works similar to the Find Edges filter, in that we can identify edges in this layer by the levels of contrast between two neighbouring pixels. And at the helm of this filter is the option here that we've got on the screen, a radius value. If we reduce this to zero, we're going to be looking at a grey solid background. But if we increase it from there, we start to see a darker grey representing the edge detail in the image. The trick here is to increase the radius until we see a good amount of edge detail. And that usually falls between 8 and 14 pixels, but like always, it really does depend on the image you're sharpening. I'm going to run with a radius of 10 pixels here, and then I'm going to click OK to accept the value. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the blend mode of the sharpen layer, and I can change this to either soft light or hard light, although in my opinion the hard light option is the way to go. I'm going to select hard light myself here, and now you can see we've got a very crisp and sharpened image on the screen. Now we can use the layer's opacity controls to determine the amount of sharpening we're adding to the image. I'm going to reduce the slider down to around about 70%, and then we can toggle the eyeball on the left hand side of the layer to see a before and after view. So this is before, and this is what our image looks like with the high pass filter applied. This image is available to download from the website under the support files header, so feel free to download the image and give this a try yourself. And don't forget, this technique is fully reversible by just switching off the sharpen layer in the layers palette. Now finally, I just wanted to touch on view size before we call it a day in this tutorial. The best way of working when sharpening an image, or working at all in many respects, is by viewing the image at 100% which can be achieved by either changing the zoom level down here at the bottom left hand side of the image pane or by going up to the view menu and selecting actual pixels which I'm going to do here. Now the image is being displayed by Photoshop with one image pixel being represented by one screen pixel and although this may be unworkable with some really big files such as photographs taken on a 12 megapixel camera and then displayed on a 1024 by 768 screen for example, you really will be able to see the best version of your image by viewing the actual pixels. Anything other than this re resolution of 100% and Photoshop will be stretching and squeezing pixels in order for the screen to display them properly. I tend not to set a good example with view sizes as most of the time I'm trying to squeeze the image into the screen capture area so I can display it in the tutorials. Well I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. Thanks very much for watching.